Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K-Dog. Funko is handing out $20 mystery bags and people were pulling grails. This is bullshit. Funko Shop doing mm-hmm. a 70% off sale for a couple of days for rewards members. Yep. Uh, exclusives, $4.50. There was 169 items. That's a lot. Uh, we saw those Optimus Primes. There was like $5 something for the uh, light and sound Optimus. Yeah. The fun on the run boxes. Thirty-one fifty, I believe. Yep. And yep. then the heavy metal boxes were half price. Yeah, there was only one available. I think it was the rusty, whatever it is. Whatever one they probably. Who cares? Left. It's still half price. But know? and I would, I would actually order them if yeah. I knew that they didn't do as dirty like they did with the other heavy metal boxes, where the cans were just yeah, they, smashing yeah. all the pops, right? Yeah, yeah. But anyway. All that being said, they had this massive sale. It's a big sale uh, for a couple in a couple of days, and uh, oh, the the loungefly coolers. Yeah, uh, some fifties. One of them was even more than that. The X Men was seventy percent off, but then it went back up to fifty percent today. I saw. Oh, that's so, a mistake. I think it was I a mistake, know. and they were like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" But so, yeah, yeah. it was just interesting, and we were like, "Wow, that's a huge sale!" Now, great for collectors. Not complaining. No, sure. Why that's not? That's an amazing thing for collectors. This but is it, like the cheese is about to expire sale. We gotta get this. Stuff gotta out. get this out of here. This cheddar's going green. So some of it great it made sense we're like this is a good thing for collectors we're mm. getting stuff at cheap prices awesome funko's mm-hmm. also clearing some old stock whatever it's really cheap though so are they so the whole conversation started because at the same time as the 70 percent off sale online mm-hmm. they announced on social media that for two days only mm-hmm. monday and tuesday this this week All right they at funko hq and at funko hollywood mm-hmm. They were offering $20 mystery bags. Right. And we're like, okay, that's cool, right? Right. Good for collectors. And it was kind of happening at the same time as the 70% off sale. Right. And then we saw some of the things people were pulling. It's a little much. And you said what I will quote is the perfect phrase for this was, Funko's leaving money on the table. Way too much. These these boxes, they should be boxes, not bags. Yeah, it was in a like yeah, a, yeah. a little garbage bag. They should be way more expensive. <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? So let's talk like, about some of the things people pulled. Right. And then maybe what they should have done that was different. Right. So one of the things that struck me, mm-hmm. and people were initially thinking maybe it was fake or planted, but then more people posted about it, Yeah, was the Fairly Odd Parents three pack. Yeah, which was like impossible to get. Impo- like we were on that con online, gone in, in 90 seconds. Yeah. We couldn't get it. And of course you couldn't order them online because uh, they were shared with Meyer grocery stores. Right. So these were shared sticker. Mm-hmm. So they obviously got stock back from Meyer or sh- stuff not shipped yeah, to Meyer, but then know. why not offer them online? Because everyone wanted this, yeah, and couldn't get it. Yeah, you could have sold them for full bought. So why are you full putting bought. them for twenty dollars? And by the way, the twenty dollars mystery bags, yeah. had up to three items inside. Yeah, it's too much. Just, just crazy. It's crazy. So on top of that, I saw another person pull on a video mm-hmm. a one thousand piece con sticker blacklight Freddy Bones. Yeah, what the actual. F- yeah. So these were gone at the con. There was yeah. only a thousand. Yeah. Why do you still have these? Yeah. And then why are you putting them in twenty dollar mystery bags? Yeah. With other things. Yeah. I saw people were pulling the uh, Phil D. Grays from the heavy metal boxes, the con ones. Yeah. That were also a thousand pieces. That. So, makes... he, so my problem. Why do you have those? Here's my problem. We've gotten Funko mystery boxes in the past. <laughs> And I'm going to say, with no disrespect to Funko, because I respect them as a company and as an overall organization, I think they're doing a great job. Great job. Great job. Our mystery boxes were a big steaming pile of horse Yeah. Amazing horse Yeah. And I mean... They were cheap either. Marvel characters you've never <laughs> heard of. 
Walgreens were like, nope. <laughs> and I mean, yeah. so we're, we actually buy the mystery boxes. We pay way more for them. Way more. <laughs> and, and we get hot garbage. I'm not saying... I don't want to... People are going to go in the comments. They're going to attack me like... Rah, 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 rah. You know, it's good for the collectors. No, it's not. I will say this. That's wicked for the people that pull those. Uh, fine. That is a really cool. That's fine. But Funko financially yeah. needs to make money. That was irresponsible financial. You need yeah. to make money. Yeah. You know, you, your your goal is to make money. If you have these this pop, you have these gold pops, yeah. pull out a mystery box online, charge $49.99 for it. You charge $100. People, people will lose their yeah. if they know they're yeah. getting on this. $20 and you get three items. You're looking at six fifty dollars uh, an item? Yeah. No, it's too much. I, I'm, I'm not trying to say it's if great. If you did a $20 yeah. mystery bag yeah. and you had three Funko Shop exclusives inside or an, a leftover con exclusive, yeah. like a con exclusive that they're blowing out right. on this 70% off sale, like the Bizarro Superman, yeah. the that one um, shared con sticker they're doing for $4.50. Yeah. So if you had Funko Shop, ex you got three pops, Two Funko Shop exclusives and a shared con. Mm -hmm. That's a great deal for twenty bucks. Yeah, and everyone would be happy about that. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you're putting Mega Grails, yeah, things that shouldn't even exist because they yeah. should have been sold out at that con. Yeah, thousand piece con sticker stuff. Yeah, why are you putting those in there? And you had the great idea. Yeah, was if Funko did a high roller mystery box. Yeah, Massive. and said. These are the things that are possibly inside. Yeah. You got a Phil D. Graves thousand piece, a Freddie Bones one thousand piece, a fairly odd parents three pack. Yeah. It could be anything. And you charge uh forty nine ninety nine or even ninety nine ninety nine if just, it's super high end thousand yeah. limited beast, right? I'm just saying like on sticker stuff. They make these decisions that And they would sell out. They don't make any sense. You're just it's so much cash you're just leaving on the table. Yeah. Like I don't even get it. And then even those mystery box that we got, those Marvel, they're all exclusives, yeah. all hot garbage piece of shit exclusives. Yeah. But they weren't great. Well, the only reason we got that mystery box is because we wanted the Marvel Venom glow in the dark Funko Shop yeah. exclusive that you could only get in the mystery box, <laughs> which two weeks ago they released on the Funko Shop. And now on its own. On its own. So <laughs> thanks, Funko. Way to screw us there. And then the rest of us are sitting there going, look uh. at these guys right here. And we can't have access. I think yeah. that's the other thing. And we can't get them. It's a little bit of peanut butter and jealous. Because yeah, so I'm just bitter. You're like, we can't go. We're in Canada. Yeah. But even people who are in the States who are on the East Coast, yeah. right? I'm in I'm in Maryland, yeah. like Gasselcast. Or, yeah, yeah. or like, you're on the East Coast. These are only offered at Funko HQ, which is Everett, Washington, mm -hmm. uh, out near Seattle, mm -hmm. or on Funko Hollywood, right. also on the West Coast. Right. So if you're in the Midwest or you're on the East Coast of the states, yeah. how are you going to get these wicked $20 mystery bags mm -hmm. in person? It's almost like the Buckeye sale in Arizona. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Where people have been, like, they'll go to the Buckeye warehouse sale and they'll have these mystery grab bags or mm -hmm. stuff, and there's crazy stuff inside. Right. Or things that should have been sold out, and they're half price at the Buckeye Warehouse. Mm -hmm. You're like, it's almost worth the plane ticket to go to these things yeah. and get them in person because they're giving it away. Yeah. Like, $20, three things inside, and one of them is a thousand-piece con sticker? Yeah. Come no, on! No. I'm going to come across as peanut butter and jealous. I know that, and that's fine. I'm not saying that. I just think Funko has to get their mindset of like mm -hmm. you're you have these collector pieces. You gotta make a little more cheddar. Yeah. You gotta make a little more money off this man. And you gotta put it online, you gotta open it up, you would have sold out in no time. Yeah. And people would be super happy at fifty dollars. If they did a fifty dollar high yeah. roller mystery box, I go like, out with that. There's a, a thousand piece uh black light Freddie Bones in. con con sticker. I mean I think everyone would have gone in on that. And then you're still getting something, even if you don't pull one of the top. Yeah, hits. you're like we we have but extra stock or whatever, and we you, said they would with, have made more money. Yeah, with the NFTs, but now they don't produce the NFTs till uh, 18 months after they yeah, it's uh, a little late. they yeah. actually announce them. But yeah. that's neither here nor there. But yeah, I mean, I just think at the end of the day, I don't understand Funko's decisions, and I'm not saying that's not great for the collectors. It is. Congrats to the people that pulled that stuff. So, but you just you left a crap load of money on the table. Yeah, like, I don't I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand, too, like, one, why these are still available. Well, that, too. Yeah, they sold out at the con, didn't two, they? Two, why are you... Yeah. 
Of yeah. Course. yeah, they did. And online for shared stickers. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, like yeah. Fairly Odd Parents, you can still get Freddie Bones, yeah. but not the thousand piece con sticker. Yeah. Those shouldn't exist. Yeah. I don't know. So that bothers me. And then, yes, from a financial point of view, if you're going to do $20 mystery bags and you get three random exclusives, that's still a good deal. Because they're really good deal. $15 USD. Yeah. Even on sale, those are a good deal for 20 bucks. Yeah. You can get all the Walgreens Marvel exclusives <laughs> for 20 bucks. I'm still happy with that. You know? Or just you know, yeah. too many of a Funko Shop exclusive. I get that. Yeah. But that's what you should have filled in those bags because it's a great deal for the collector as well to get three exclusives or Funko Shop ex- yeah. sticker stuff yeah. or convention exclusives for 20 bucks. Great yeah. deal. But the Mega Grails? Yeah. What are you doing? Well, I saw some pictures too and they were all like people were getting con stickers. Yeah. I mean... I don't know. Save don't know. that stuff for a high roller mystery box. You can make way more cheddar. You can yeah. make so much cash and get excitement. People would be excited. People would be excited. People yeah. would be ordering online. They'd be opening them on YouTube channels. They'd be doing all this. There'd be excitement around Funko again. Yeah. Instead, I think people will be almost pissed off. I mean, I'm not pissed off a little bit. Maybe not. I'm yes. a little jealous. Eh, hard to say. But <laughs> yeah, maybe. But yeah, you're just pissing off your collectors going, yeah. well, why are these people allowed to get this just because they happen to live in Everett, Washington? Yeah. And or then it's Hollywood. like, or in Hollywood. Yeah. And it's just like, which is fine. But at the same time, it's like, uh, that seems like a little too good of Let's mystery bags. Spread the wealth. Like, no, there the wasn't other... any common Dragon Ball Z pops. What? <laughs> that's, the, that's the other thing. Do you think some of these were planted? Well, it could be, but it seems like, it seems like people have really been showing there off. Was that. A, there was a bunch of people. Yeah, like I was fairly for, very skeptical of fairly odd parents. Yeah, and then there was multiple people who shared about it. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't, know. I don't think it was planted. Yeah, but you know, there I I I don't know what to think other than if these things are in these twenty dollars mystery bags. Yeah, you should probably save them, and you can get a lot more money by doing some sort of high roller mystery box on Funko.com, and it'd be more fun. It'd be a lot of fun. It'd be a lot of fun, and people and would be more sh- people get access. People would get access. People would be sharing it. There'd be videos and stories. Yeah. Everybody would be having fun. It'd be great. But instead, you're just everyone's going like, "What the hell, man?" You yeah. know. And what about people that were at the con and those things were sold out? Yeah, They're people like, that missed out. Yeah. I, I stood in line like an asshole, you know, for two hours, <laughs> and all I wanted was the black and uh, the black light uh, Freddie Bones. Freddie Bones. Yeah. And you said it was sold out. But then these, Why are these, here? these jabronis are getting there for 20 bucks down yeah. in, uh, in Everett, Washington. What's going on here, you know? It'd be very interesting to know why they still have these pieces that are ending up in these $20 mystery box. I don't and know. the corporate decision of selling them in a $20 mystery bag. That also doesn't make a lot of I sense. I don't even got that. Was it, was I it, don't know. Was it cash only? You're just like, <laughs> you know? Maybe. You yeah, know, just just give us cash. No tax. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, would you, do you think, first of all, that these are real? Number two, do you think that Funko should do something like we're suggesting of taking these high end uh, limited pieces and putting them online instead of just at Funko HQ and Funko Hollywood for people out on the West Coast? Like, tell us what you guys think in the comments. We really want to hear from you. Also, huge shout out to our brand new Patreon members, John Nicholson, Bruce and Scooby, and Jay Candy. Nice. We want to take this opportunity to thank our Patreons. If you want to join as a member, you can do so at Patreon slash Kdog and Fish. Sign up and get exclusive content, lives, and more. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Fish. Kdog. We'll see you again soon.